Here I have a, another empty uh, hanging basket and I'm just going to uh, take this hanger off of here. Just has little clips on the side that hold it in. And I put a little bit of peat moss and perlite in the bottom. It's just, just one plant. No. Put it in here. Check for slugs again. Looks good. All right. Now we will check the base. I don't see any evidence of slugs. There's a lot of dead stuff from the winter. And, uh, you know, it just recently started putting on new growth. You can see this new growth, see how leggy it is up here. And I've been pinching it back for about a month. And uh, I'll show you. Right up in here, you can see I pinched the tip out. But see, now you have a new tip here. That needs to be pinched out. Here's one here. Pinch these off. It'll make it a, a bushier plant. But we're just going to drop this in here for now and then uh, fill it up around the edges. And this is just one plant that I overwintered. From cuttings. It's about my third year on, on these particular petunias. And I just keep taking cuttings and need some more. This is my bucket of stuff down here. I just keep, keep taking things. Rooting them on. And then you uh, grow them for the summer. And then you keep the best ones for over the winter. Take about four or five over the winter. And then start again in the spring by taking more cuttings there now I'll water that in but this is gonna need to be pinched out you can see these tips they're starting to get leggy and you just nip them back I've already taken a lot of cuttings, so I don't need any more cuttings. So we'll just nip out the tips. Just makes it a bushier plant to start off with. And see how leggy this is right here? We'll go back even further and take that back as far as you want it. There's flowers starting to come, but I, I don't want flowers yet. It's not... Mother's Day yet. So, but we'll just nip all the tips out. And it kind of makes it look kind of uh, sticky. You know, all these little bare sticks that are just sticking up here. But, um, you'll be, you'll be a lot happier with the results if you do this. You get a bushier plant. And the reason this is so bushy is because I was nipping it out. Taking cuttings. Now I'll water that in really well. There's a small reservoir in this particular basket down in the bottom. That'll hold some water. Which is nice. Alright. And then this goes back on. One here. Alright. There you go. These are just about ready to go.
That's the red one. What's the name of this one? Priscilla. Yeah. This one is Priscilla. Look at that one. This one right here. I took huge amounts. It looked just like this yesterday. And I took huge amounts of cuttings. Here's there's seven of seven cuttings in there. And then uh, over here, these are all cuttings. There's about six or seven per per little bucket here. They seem to be doing okay. There's some more cuttings down here. Well, welcome back. Chuck here. Uh, it's been a minute. It's been a little while since I've been doing any videos. Gotta hang up my coat. Let's put this over here on this side. I wanted to show you my, my shirt. See that? Sunny Farms? <laughs> I don't know if you guys watch Sunny Farms, but, uh, Cole and his dad, Brian, Sunny, they run a beef farm, cattle farm, over in South Dakota, Mount Vernon, South Dakota, and, uh, I watch, uh, I watch their YouTube channel <laughs> every day. Ah, uh, they're good. They're just, uh, American farmers doing their thing. I'm just mixing this stuff up a little bit. I think I should take some of this stuff out. Put some fertilizer in here. Osmocote. This stuff is uh, 14, 14, 14. Slow release. Not bad about that much. I should put this Priscilla in here. Although it doesn't look very good. Having overwintered, it's just coming out of its winter dormancy. You can see there's some dead stuff back on the inside, way down in near the base. By cutting this dead stuff off here, you're promoting some new growth. I'll just nip off the tips with my fingers, and then I'll push more stuff down here. And we'll put another one in here. This one looks pretty good. I nipped it back about a week ago, but we'll take a few more tips off. Try and force some more roots. These are starting to put on, trying to put on flowers. So we'll take those off. I need a red one. Cut it back. It's too leggy. So we'll just come in here and butcher the thing. Then we will cut or pinch out the tips, get rid of any possible flowers. That way, this thing check for slugs or snails down in here. I'm in the greenhouse, but you never know. I mean, sometimes they come in and sneak in, winter over. You just never know. Sometimes they're down. Look at... <clears throat> See him? I'll deal with him off camera. We're going to put him in there. Way here in the back. Check in here, see if there's anything that might have gone through one of these holes. You just never know with sluggies. Okay, we are continuing into the greenhouse. This is video portion number three because it takes me a while to make all these videos. Look at this peony. Well, let's take a look at how we're doing here. I left this open. It's not good. So you can see, it's been about a week. 
since I potted this one up and I cut it all back look at all these flower blossoms that are just starting to come on I gotta pinch gotta pinch these back again you, you can just see where I pinched it back and look at how far down it was it was way down here so in a week it grew six inches unbelievable so we'll pinch this back right up here take those flowers off I don't want these flowers on here I mean they're nice and everything but I need more growth I need a bushier plant so we'll just go in and trim all those up this one here same thing You can see where I cut it back right here, 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 and here, and it's uh, it's pushing out. I want to fill this in right here where all this is. You can see the new growth down in here where it's pushing back down inside here, pushing back, make it a more compact plant. That's all good. Let's just take one of these guys up here. I'm going to take this one. It's got three of them in here. And you can see right up in here it's got new growth new growth new growth these are all just the cuttings that i took off of these guys what we're gonna do is we are going to uh open these up and see what they look like see if there's any roots in here Nothing. Oh, just, just starting to put on roots. And it's been about a week. Yeah, oh, look at there. Look at there. Got roots coming out. Let's look at this one. Yeah, we got roots. So, I'd wait for more than a week. Just wanted to show you guys the uh, success on these after a week. Petunias are pretty easy. Okay, have a good day.